we are playing against Arsenal. Now we're gonna rotate the squad because we have a cup game, and I don't want to take any risks. Okay, so let's play him. We have a midfield. Putting in Leveray later. Okay, I think this should be fine. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Playing the second team today. Kai Havertz in the spotlight. Three, we're at the home everything points to an exciting contest. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right very up. Good, very it's good. Arsenal very good. versus the absolute mad lads. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their oh, yeah. They give width but they also make work. diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Hmm. And Kai Havertz. Could take the lead. Not fair, bro. That's not fair. Keeper doesn't do anything right here. Turning inside, where's he going to go? This could be the equalizer. What an important piece of defending. Well, they fancy a short one. Race. Ledesma. Bad fortune with the new for Titans. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. So let's have a look at the table and the chances there for the visitors to go top if they can win. Well, they've certainly had a great start to the season and they've played some really good football. Hopefully, we get more of the same today. How oh, did that work? <laughs> well, they know they need to stop him. And making the run to the inside, but quick thinking defensively. Ledesma. And a fine cross. Mm. Well, threat averted. And the end, bro, is a very good player. And, this side, and he has options available. Just the challenge that was required. Reeve. Teammates in the middle. And an effective clearance. Bukayo Saka. And Hoybier with it. Fabio Vieira. Even better. 
Opportunity here. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Ledesma. Brace. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. A good and fair challenge. Plenty of support here. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And Come on. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Ake. Mickey van de Ven. Why would it, what is he doing? Yaar. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's what is Colville doing? Yaar. What is he doing? Well, that's a good save, but really Why are they falling like there. that? That's a big chance. It's a short corner. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Good example of pressing without the ball. How is this 50 year old guy playing like this? Well, yeah. oh, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Kai Havertz. Oh, the world of fucking goal for that shitty player, bro. Second half has begun here in North London. What is this close control? Yeah. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. And the absolute mad lads finding space on the flank. And a shot from Miles. Oh, why didn't he hit it from his left? Yeah. Oh, oh, I gave it everything. Yeah. I think most fans would be I pretty hate happy this with this guy, display yeah, so far. And this Howard well, fucking he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second half. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Delivering it. Well, the lads couldn't hang on to it. now this guy was wrongly put into the team splendid tackle and a throw in coming up there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. A very good tackle.
Lund. Who can he pick out? They could not in front. Are you going to the center back, boy? Now they fancy a short one. Now will the cross work out for them? Not all that convincing defensively. And the flag does go up offside. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. And a quick reminder, we have live action from the Carabao Cup coming your way. It's Arsenal facing Manchester United. Oh, Derek, big chance here. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed he's out any sign him. of danger. Throw-ins given. Vergara. Yusufa Mukoko. Great opportunity. Come on. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. go again and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal and it will be an Arsenal free kick My goodness, that's not right no, that level of physicality is not right that center back well, just listen to the crowd they know this is a oh, really that's good not right really they're too good with the heading and shit behind for another corner can they cash in Ledesma Andre with it Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Okay. Certainly one to enjoy. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Vergara. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? He fancies it. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Time for a change then. Now the short corner routine. And a good looking ball. Not messing around with that clearance. Saka. A foul but no whistle. Instead advantage with Arsenal. Fabien. Clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, as we approach full time, we have to say playing away from home hasn't been a problem for them. Can they see it out? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Really good ball there. Oh, an save, and they're still alive. Well, that really would have been it. They're still in it here, but they're going to have to be quick. And cuts inside. Cross could be useful, and that's an important intervention. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Crossed accurately towards the far post. 
Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. Come on. It is the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well done. It was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Coco was very good again. Lund, bro, that's crazy. Very good performance. Stepped up, bro. Stepped up. Four two point four is good. Very good. Is it all right if we just ask you a couple of questions? Okay. Three and a half? What? What happened to them? But bro, we cannot take them for granted. Quick step would be very useful though.
Oh, God. Come on, why is this so difficult? Rest him, bro. He's already on low. Also, bad form and shit. Okay, let's go. The man to watch. Three goals. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray. And ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Carabao Cup. It's the absolute mad lads versus Everton. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents are well organised, resilient and pose a threat on the counter-attack. Therefore, an early goal will be the main priority for the home team. And they've given him too much space. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, they've got a good front three and a solid back five. But with only two in midfield, they could get overrun. It'll be interesting to see who comes in to support them, if anybody. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Will he finish? Was an important piece of defending. Chance here. Oh, yeah. Well, they've started really brightly here. They were so close to taking the lead. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. Opportunity here. Keeper did his job to begin with. 
Well, he took care of it defensively. Must take the lead here. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Really committed himself to the tackle and a throw in now. Fiore. Osterwalde. And a tidy tackle. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. The ball back with Everton now. Mm, Jacobs. Traore with it. Keeping the ball moving. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. It comes to nothing in the end. Pedri. Excellent ball over the top. Come on. Oh, moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And did it he just. Well, we can see it again now. And it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And the movement is good. Making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So Everton get the ball moving again. And they find a response here. Fiore. Traore now. Not the best challenge. Free kick. <laughs> Can they square the game? He can't hold on to it. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. So, getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Well, Correct. that looked to me like excessive force. What was the referee's reading of it? And the right. referee does send him off. No arguments there. Well, no complaints really, but they need to reorganize now and quickly. Good weight on that pass. And an effective clearance. Ramirez. And still a chance. Cleared away. Mark. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Andreasen. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. The first half here. So into the second half, and you've got to say, in the first 45, we saw delightful football produced by the absolute mad lads. Are we in for more of the same in the second half? Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Jacobs. A super tackle and they've won possession. Promising move from Mad Lads. It has to be! 
And the goalkeeper Ooh. has outdone himself with that save. Well, opting for the short corner. Not the most confident clearance. That's a routine take. Just the challenge that was required. His determination there for all to see. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And a simple clearance. It's a good one. Fiore. John. Fiore. That's a good looking ball. Thirty minutes left for play. The mad lads moving the ball forward. What can they do with it? Fantastic work to throw. the danger well good work from the lads to win the ball back pretty comfortable piece of defending and they need to get tighter here that's a good looking shot really good piece of goalkeeping there Well, those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will, and while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. It's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Three goals without reply. Here's Traore. And it's with Sanabria. That's a good ball. Angles it back. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. And over comes the corner. And up for grabs off the keeper. And the keeper has it after the... That tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. He's given us away. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. And time for the change now. Promising pass. Prepare to take on the shot. Well, you can't blame him for taking it on, but lacking the accuracy required in the end. Goal kick here. Fiore. 
Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Determined defending. Come on, Ramirez. Attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. Mm, they're very Taking good, bro. They weren't really good, actually. The fans are shouting, shoot! And there's a quality defender in action. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And possibilities here. And it's a quality pass. Oh, and that's come it, on. the final whistle. Hello. And the hosts Hi. will go through. Well, what a good attacking display that was. The passing, the movement and creativity were of the highest quality. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. about it he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings well he was a major reason why they won Very good. he was so reliable and he inspires those around him what a huge impact from coming in to Some questions regarding the match. <coughs> That'll be all. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think so, I think he was pretty good, like, I don't know, I feel Adriano is probably one. Ah. Put him to push, important, he won't play as much. Ooh, is exactly what he wanted.
The attackers have gone to a point where pretty cool. This has been great. I think Pydri has basically sent him out. Of course, he's been very good, bro. But to win the last game, but the first game is very good. Take time. I think they are about to. This is crazy, bro. play loon we have a champion league game we will need pedri to start yep but we can do it again it's fine but we'll play bro we need that win because these two will play okay Bench or something. Play him in the main team. What the fuck happened to him? He got really tired, didn't he? Bro, he has been growing like crazy. He's been very good for us. I'm very happy with his performances. Played a lot of games also. Five games. Not bad. 
we'll keep this uh, we'll keep this for the next time bro i am not going to play too many games but once then it's like not able to play so i'll play later bye